Mag212 and this is my Nerf and Strike Demolisher that I made look like a Vladoff assault rifle from the game Borderlands 2. So just a summary of what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to go over all the modifications I did to this gun, I'm going to talk about the paints I used, and I'm going to show you it firing. So starting off with the modifications to the demolisher, if you want to know how to modify a demolisher, go check out my tutorial on how to modify a demolisher. Everything I did was basically the same. I took off the little resistors on the motors and rewired the whole system, took out the electronic locks for the access door and the mechanical locks that prevent you from pulling the trigger. Other than that, I lubricated the trigger to make it a little smoother to pull because the demolisher trigger is very uncomfortable. Taking out the electronic and mechanical locks does help with that and it makes it a little more comfortable to pull. For the mods to the rocket launcher, I did increase the seal of the plunger. Some people told me that increasing the seal on the rocket launcher was a bad idea because it could negatively affect the range of the rocket launcher. The reasoning behind that is that you need to pull it back and if there's friction then you can't pull it back as fast and you can't have as good of an airflow. But that's not true because the air seal on this to begin with is garbage. I cannot even articulate how weak the air seal was on this. I only wrapped a few layers of Teflon tape around it and it's already much better. The seal is not a perfect seal, but that's understandable because you don't want to have too much friction in there. But I have greatly improved the seal and I can tell it's firing much better. I've also filled the dead space in the pump with hot glue. But that covers all of the modifications, so now I'll get into the paints. Since I got such positive feedback on my last Borderlands 2 replica, I decided to make another one. I know that these replicas aren't exactly like the guns from the video game. It's kind of hard to replicate the guns because you're using a Nerf gun as the base. But I thought that the Demolisher would make a good assault rifle, so I gave it a Vladoff assault rifle paint job. The paint job started off with a Rust-Oleum aluminum paint. I bought this paint at Home Depot and it went on very nicely. Then I used Jean Steeler Purple from Citadel as the purple details. After that, I dry brushed black over the whole thing, mostly on the silver parts, not really that much on the purple parts because I didn't want to tone down the purple parts that much. The black just makes it look overall very dirty, and if anyone's ever played Borderlands, they know that all the guns are really dirty and are supposed to look rugged. Then over the purple, I added a steel dry brushing to just make it look really cool. Those are all the paints. Overall, I think this gun looks really good, and I think it's a pretty good replica of a Vladoff assault rifle. So now that I've pretty much gone over everything that you need to know, I'll show you it firing. As you can see from the firing test, the demolisher is shooting really hard. I was only running this gun on three trust fires in the firing demo, but if you were running it on four, you could probably seriously hurt someone. These motors are much better than the Strife Rapid Strike and basically every other flywheel motor that Hasbro has released. This gun is shooting very well, and I'm sure that on three trust fires, I can break 90 feet. I'm very happy with how this modification turned out, and I will probably be buying another demolisher in the near future. So I don't really have anything else to say about this gun. Tell me how you like the paints in the description box, and if you think I did a good job with this replica. That's the end of my video on my Vladoff Assault Rifle replica. Thanks for watching.